All right, shalom, shalom. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to, to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rechakurash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all you brothers out there. And um, we're just going to get into a quick lesson, um, and pretty much it's just about, you know, self-examination. All right, um, especially, you know, we uh, know that the Passover is coming up, and this time we should really be on our, you know, P's and our Q's, you know. And uh, it should really, it honestly, should be year round. But this time, you know, this like uh, I guess you could say season, you know, it, you know, it's very um, important because you know you don't want to um, basically eat that bread, you know, uh, you know, uh, unworthily, as the scriptures talk about. You know, and we're gonna get that scripture in First Corinthians right now, okay? You know, you don't want to be eating the, the you know, the bread of Yahow, you know, Yahow shy unworthily, and you don't want to be casted out, you know. Cause you know the Lord, he, he wants a, a true, sincere individual. He doesn't want somebody that's faking the funk. He doesn't want a hypocrite, basically. You know. All right. So the first, yeah, the first Corinthians. first Corinthians chapter eleven, verse twenty-three. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Yahweh Shai, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he brake it and said. Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup which he had supped, or no, when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. All right, so that's why we, you know, still, um, you know, do the Passover to this day, okay? You know, Yahweh Shai wants us, you know, to, to keep the Passover. All right, he wants us to, you know, you know, eat that bread, you know, uh, you know, drink that wine, you know, which, you know, that's a representation of him. Okay. And, um, you know, like, hey, like I said, we still do it to this day. You know, every year we have, you know, the Passover, um, you know, a uh, uh, service. And it's a very serious time period. All right. It's solemn. You mm -hmm. know, you have, um, I know Apostle um, Kabar every year goes into it how it's a solemn feast you know it's not a, a, a feast where you're supposed to be you know jucking and jiving having a good time okay when you look at Yahweh Shai's Passover you know no one was cracking jokes no one was laughing okay hey the Yahweh Shai knew after that um after that service you know he was about to uh basically you know get um betrayed. Uh, uh, betrayed you know he was about to get apprehended, and he was about to, you know, uh, deal with the, um, the, you know, deal with that that uh, that judgment, you know, which was for him to be that that uh, that sacrifice, all right, for the nation of Israel, you know, you know he, he what does it say in the scriptures? He was uh, not only uh, uh, paying for the sins of uh, you know the people, but also his own sins, you know. And how did he sin? When he was um, he not not as Yahweh shy, but when he was you know King Solomon. All right, Adam, you see, mm -hmm. that's when he sinned. So he was paying for those crimes. All right. But he knew that he he was going to have to go through this. So he, he was, they, they weren't laughing and, you know, joking and playing around. All right. And that's how we should be. We should, hey, these Passovers, you got to be in a serious mindset because you really don't know, you know, if you're going to get clipped or not. You know, it's only by the grace and mercies of Yahweh Bashim Shai that we stay around. Okay? Um, well, I got more. Yeah, verse 26. Yeah. On, yeah, 1 Corinthians 11 and 26. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. Yeah, so we don't want to um, eat, eat, you know, this bread and drink this cup unworthily, all right? You know, that's something that, um, that, that you know, you got to think about, man. Are, are you on point? All right, you, that, that goes into that self-examination, all right? Have you been on point? Have you been slacking? Of course, you know, all of us can improve on, you know, um, particular things, no doubt about it. But you know, there, they, uh, have you have you been really falling behind? You know, have you been you know reading enough? Have you been uh, giving uh, um, 
you know, giving into your flesh too much, you know, etc., etc. You really got to think about these things, you know. All right. And um, what did I want to get? Um, if you got something to say, I'll keep I got on. two more. I got two more verses here. Um, oh, Consolaki. Uh, there's something, man. What did I want to get? Just keep going, Oxalaki. Yeah. It's all good. Uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 28. But, a, but let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. So, you know, you really got to take into consideration uh, what you're involved in. You know, really count the cost. Understanding what Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, went through. All right, to, to bring back the whole nation back to the Father. All right, and that some of us, hey, we're going to be martyrs. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and you got to understand that as well. But uh, uh, the, for the rest, hey, the Lord's going to pass over us. But you got to be on point. All right, this is not a hangout club. This is not a, a, a Saturday Israelite thing. You know what I'm saying? You're an Israelite 24-7, inwardly, daily, and in your walk, especially by yourself, man. All right, you should be meditating on these words day and night, mm -hmm. you know, and applying them to your life, you know, and, and, and uh, um, what do you call it? What's the word? Uh, um, hmm. So like, you know, just really thinking about, uh, um, you know, what the Lord went through for us to be here at this point, you know, That's right. because if not, we'd all be smoked, man, if it wasn't for Yahweh Shai. All right. Mm -hmm. I got a scripture because it talked about, um, it came to mind now. You know, I said that, um, I think it was like verse, what was it, 20, where is it, uh, I think it was 27, where is it, yeah. verse 27, talking about eating unworthily, right? Um, this is uh, Luke 12 and 47, and that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared mm. not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. And that's the thing, if you're eating this bread and drinking this, um, you know, cup unworthily, you're going to get beaten with many stripes, because you know better. If you've been in this truth, okay, you know, for you know for some time, I don't, I don't even care if it's a year, you should know the severity of what you're in, you know, involved in, okay? You should really know it, especially as you get older, all right? You know, uh, you know, and you get, um, you know, that more, uh, you get more uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You should understand, you know, how uh, severe this is, okay? And if you... you, you if you don't do the Lord's uh, work properly, you are going to get a harsh judgment. It's not going to be a simple thing. Okay, you you can see yeah, your family getting tortured. You know, you can, you know, uh, be on the brink of starving to death, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, beaten up. Man, I... Judgment, Yahweh Bashmi al Shai is scary, man, you know. He could put you... Hey, he could have you uh, have a strong delusion. Mm -hmm. Making you believe a lie You really thinking that what you're doing is on point But it's not That's scary man To ultimately destroy you Yeah So you, you gotta think about that and We know that um, That ultimate judgment is Getting hit with those uh, uh, Those missiles man Alright So that's why we gotta really examine ourselves You know let me get that real quick Is there any more to that or no? Oh no! You second thir uh, Corinthians thirteen five, I think. Yeah, I'll get that. Um, I got quick. one real quick. This is a uh, Haggai. Did we finish? The oh, I'm sorry. By any chance? Um, who we at? Oh yeah, we uh, we finished that one. Oh, we did. No, the uh, twenty nine. Eateth and drinketh. Yeah. Con con. All right, Salak. I thought. Yeah, get, get your precepts, Salak. I thought we had more. Oh no, it's all good. Just right to the point. Haggai one and five. Now, therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh. Bahashim Yahushai of hosts, which is of armies, consider your ways. Mm. All right? Really consider, you know, your ways, what you're in. You know, examine yourself, what you cut out. All right? To be the Lord's delight. You know what I'm saying? Think about the Lord and, 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 and how you want him to see you, man. All right? Worthy of salvation, man. Worthy to be forgiven. You know, don't take this thing lightly. All right? We're at the end. And we got to give it our all. We got to be on fire for the Lord. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Yeah, especially now. We're getting closer to the end. You know, we should really uh, be turning up the heat, man. Okay? Yeah. All right? 
No, we, we can't be slack at all. Okay. You know, it, it looked it, the more, in a sense, we we fight with uh, uh we fight for the Lord. The Lord's gonna fight more for us, you know. All right, but I got uh this one right here, uh, Second uh, Corinthians thirteen and five. Examine yourselves. That's the first thing uh, it, it said right there. Examine yourself. Hey, look at yourself in the mirror. You know, hey, have you been a good brother? Have you um, have you been teaching enough? Have you been making your videos? Have you been reading enough? You know, have you been studying uh, whatever it may be, uh, the history to the you know to the Hebrew? You know, have you been looking up uh, 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 news articles? You know, all these things to think about it. Okay, have you been maturing? Have you been growing? That's another thing too. Are are you, are you still the same person you were last year? You know, mm -hmm. you should be uh for lack of words evolving. You know, each uh and every day. You know, really. You know, but especially like you know, uh, you should be improving. You know, month by month. You know, year by year. Brothers should see that growth in you. You know, mm -hmm. um. Really, actually, yeah, how about Shimmy Al Shai ultimately? All right, but um, it says, Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith, prove your own selves. So, prove your own self, okay? Know ye not your own selves, how that Yahweh Shai is in you, except ye be reprobates, okay? But I trust that ye shall know that we are not reprobates, all right? And you got to have that uh, the spirit on you, okay? You got to be confident, you know, in saying, like, No, I, I gave it my all. Like yeah, I could have done better, but you know I, you know hey, I did this is what this was the um, I did everything to the best of my ability, you know. All right, that's how you you really have to be confident like that. If if you're, you know, uh, really thinking about it, like oh man, you know what I could have do this or that, you know hey blah blah blah. Hey, you should you know really start, you know uh um, you should you know do do some heavy meditation, and get back on track, man. And get back on track. All right? Yeah, because the just man falls seven times mm -hmm. and then he gets back up. You know what I'm saying? So that that's why constant examination is key in this thing. All right? Because you're going to uh, you're gonna catch something if you're looking for it. You see? But also, um, you got to pray to the Lord, of mm -hmm. course. You know what I'm saying? Because you could ask the Lord uh, to, to, to try you out. You know, there's a psalm like, like King David. Psalms 26 verse 2. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord's going to uh, put you through a test, man. All right? And you got to acknowledge that you're going through a test. And, and you got to acknowledge, you know, how to react to it. All right? With wisdom, of course. You see, uh, I got another one. Psalms 139, verse 23. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting and you know when you ask the lord hey he's gonna come through and search you out man and and, and sometimes it's not gonna be pleasant all right it's, it's gonna be a, a, a you know a little hardship all right but you're gonna make it through you're gonna you might even lose some things you might lose your wife your children all right you might lose your job hey man these are things that probably weren't profitable for your salvation all right but no, you know, you know Yahweh Shai. You understand and know Yahweh Shai. You know you're going to get your family back. All right, so don't worry about that. Seek the kingdom of heaven first, like Matthew six and thirty three says. Man, trust in the Lord. All right, if 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 your family or or anything, even yourself, because like what in that saw uh, Revelation three and I think ten or eleven. Hold on, hold on to your crown, you know, tightly or fast. You, even you can be your own enemy, man. That's why you got to examine yourself. You got to ask the Lord to search you out, all right, so that he could uh, purge whatever shit that, that's uh, wicked in you out so that you could be acceptable in that day, all right? Because that's what this is leading up to, man, is salvation, man, all right? Yeah, and you want to yeah. be on point for that. Yeah, you want that covering. You want you know how um, when you go into Exodus, um. The, uh, uh, the post? Yeah, I was just going to say, the, uh, uh, the Israelites, they put that, that blood, yeah. you know, on their post. Hey, we want the, the, that, uh, that blood of Yahweh shine on, on our post, okay? You know, because he was what? That, that, that lamb, okay? That sacrifice. And we want, you know, 
basically that spirit of death to, you know, bypass us. You know, we don't want to uh, get caught up and, um, and get destroyed, you know, like the rest of these people, like the uncircumcised, you know, as the scriptures talk about. Okay. We don't want to uh, receive that same judgment or punishment, you know. All right. <laughs> and you see a lot of our people, they're about to get judged with Egypt. Right. You know, you see the first time around, you know, Israel, they didn't get judged with Egypt. But you see this time around, you know, the, this second exodus, only the elect is going to get out of uh, uh, Egypt. All right. This spiritual Egypt. Mm -hmm. You see these people, the, the, hey, man, they're about to get the same judgment as the heathen. And it ain't going to be pretty, man. That's the thing. This judgment that's about to uh, uh, go down, you know, that's coming down the pipeline. It's going to be like unlike any other uh, judgment ever seen. Okay, or ever known to mankind, it's going to be real, real gruesome out here. Like we talk about it a lot, we picture it, you know, in our minds. You know, we will, you know, you see, you know, these uh, uh you know, uh, I'm trying to think like movies like The Road. You know, uh, what is that? Um, what's the one with Will Smith? Uh, I Am Legend. I Am Legend. All these like type of movies like that, right? Yeah. You know, it kind of gives you a somewhat of a visual, a visual, but. When we're really going through this, it's going to be unlike any other, th you know, it's going to be unlike any other judgment. You're not even going to be able to put it in words, basically, in a sense, you know. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a very dark and scary time. And we're hoping that the Lord has, you know, angels, you know, block, you know, uh, basically, you know, being a shield unto us, you know, blocking us from evil. And we, you know, uh, uh, get that salvation in the end. That's the, you know, the, the key thing here is uh, trying to get salvation, you know. Yeah, because, you know, two-thirds of our own people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and the speckled bird. Hey, man, you guys are stubborn as hell. All right, stiff-necked. And that's why in Isaiah, the Lord said what? That why should you be uh, stricken anymore? You know what I'm saying? So you're going to get this ultimate judgment, man. Death by pain. All right, you're going to have to learn the hard way, man. All right? And you're going to have to suffer. And you're going to have to suffer with no hedge, nowhere to turn to. All right, because you refuse Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, so that's why you know right now we're hoping uh, that we're part of the elect, that we get saved. Us in our households, we're re we're rehearsing the righteous acts. We're the ones uh, with fear and trembling before the Lord, man. All right, hoping in His salvation, hoping in that day that our bodily eyes see the Lord crack them clouds, and we be changed in the in the you know the, the twinkling of an eye. You know what I'm saying? That's our hope. We're prisoners of hope, man. And, and at the same time, it's a scary thing, man, because this is all we can hope for is that we, we get mercy, the sure mercies of King David, man, that we are of the house of David and that mercy and goodness will follow us all of our days. That's our hope. All right. But you got to do your part as well. You know, examine yourself, walk in this thing, uh, you know, sincerely and faithfully, you know, because the Lord's coming to judge, man. He's coming with great judgment, and, and, and that's why we're hoping that he passes over us, man. The brothers and, and our families, you know what I'm saying? That we're part of the one-third. Con, um, you got anything else? Because I have one scripture. No, you could go. You can then. that. Um, give me one second to find it. Uh, where's that scripture in Corinthians that talks about the judgment seat? Oh, we must appear before the judgment seat? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I spelled that wrong. Five and ten, second Corinthians uh, five and ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, start at nine. Did we labor um, Started um actually yeah, started like seven though. Seven? Yeah. Kind of second Corinthians five verse seven, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Yeah, so we walk by faith, not by sight. You know, see uh, this whole thing is all about faith. Cause you got a lot of people that'll say, Hey man, you're crazy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, like, well, what are you talking about? This is not going to happen. I think you're losing your uh, marbles, man. All right? <laughs> talking all that scary stuff. Right. <laughs> you know? You got people out there that they'll say that. But, hey, we, we, uh, we heard this word, and we believed, you know? And they heard it, too, but not mixed with faith. faith yep. So, you know, they're going to fold. That's right. Uh, verse 8. And we don't, we don't need to see these things. We just... We know through faith that these things will happen. And oh. as time is bypassing, the Lord is fulfilling his promise, though. He's fulfilling his words. 
That's why we know this is true, because these prophecies are coming to pass. It's happening. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, look, it's just not happening as quickly as most people want it to happen. You know, they wanted, you know, uh, these things to be done with, you know, uh, what is it, with the snap of a finger, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But that's not how the uh, the Lord works. His time frame is way different than ours. Okay, so, you know, uh, put it like this. Do you have a little event here, an event there? You know, you might have one major event pop up. Then it slows down. Then you have a little minor events. Then another major event. See, that's how the Lord works. And it's all a build up to this, you know, uh, to, to build up to Yahweh Shai's return. Mm -hmm. You know? God, in verse 8, uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 8. We are confident, I say, and willing rather rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, we labor that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. Exactly. We, we're going to labor. All right. And we got to, what does it say the, uh, in the scriptures of Hebrews 4 and 11? You got to labor, you know, into that rest. Yep. Okay. And what's that labor? Okay. It's going out there teaching, you know. Uh, 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 what does it say? What is that? Uh, Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not. not. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. Mm -hmm. And show my people their transgression. The house of Jacob their sins. You know, we do that. You know, we're those watchmen. We exhort one another. We build each other up. Yeah, we comfort each other with, you know, goodly and godly words. And that's, you know, the charity, you know. Yeah, that, charity, brotherly love. Brotherly love. Brotherly that, that's yeah. That's the work right there. That's what we do. Okay, that's the labor. Okay? And Keep it's me. not grievous. Oh, yeah, it's definitely not. Yeah, no, it's a pleasure to be doing these things. It's a pleasure to be in this ministry, man. Oh, yeah. You know? What else would I be doing? Exactly. <laughs> what, worried about for Le LeBron James? <laughs> Is the hairpiece falling <laughs> off? <laughs> oh, God. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but that's, you, you listen to, you know, the typical Jake's conversation. They're going nuts, man. We, we, you know, basketball, well, baseball's coming up now. Got those, you know, uh, Jakes that are into that. Oh, the Cubs and the Sox. Oh, brother, man. Oh, the Yankees. Like, dude, I don't care about this madness. It's, it's, it's folly and it's weak. Mm -hmm. I mean, if brothers are into it, so be it. But put it like this, brothers who are into it, that's not their, um, uh, th that's not where the heart and soul is, you know? These people, that that's where their heart and their, their soul is, man. They, they, these things. Uh, a stimulus check, you know? Mm-hmm. You know, uh, man. Oh, I can't wait for, you know, the, you know these lockdowns to um, to be, you know, fully uplifted so I can, you know, go to the concerts and, and you know, go to the grill outs. Oh, man, I'm excited for that. That's what our people are into. I, I hear these people talk about this stuff, you know? But whatever, you know? <laughs> I'd rather do, you know, I'd rather be in this ministry and preach the word of Yahweh Shai. This, this, this is what I know. This is what I, I love to do. Yeah, all we know is Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all we could do is preach, man. You know? This is 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. For we must all appear before the judgment scene of Hamashiach, mm. that everyone may receive the things done in his body, according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Yeah, so basically, you know, we're all going to get judged on our works. Okay? Every you know uh, thing that we've done, so we want to make sure that our um, our righteous works outweigh our um, you know wicked works. Okay, that's something that you know you really got to you know uh, think about. You know, am I am I being you know uh, more wicked than more righteous, so to speak? Because look, we're all gonna fall. You know, we're not gonna uh, be perfect. You know, the brother brought out that uh, that proverbs. You know, how just man's gonna fall. So you you know you're gonna you know you, we're in the flesh we are gonna sin, all right. But hey man, you we, we really gotta uh, 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 keep pushing you know uh, these righteous sacrifices. You know that's what it comes down to. You know us pushing these right uh, uh, these righteous sacrifices, and the Lord you know we're hoping that the Lord accepts our righteous sacrifices, and that He forgets the wickedness that we've done. You know, that's that, that's one of the main things. That you know that we want. All right, so I think there's a little bit more. Come verse 11. 2 Corinthians 5 and 11. Knowing therefore the terror yeah. of the Lord, we persuade men. Yep. Hey, we know the, 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 you know the terror of the Lord. So we push that vibration onto the people. Like, look, the, 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 you know, the God of the Bible, right? He's not about hugs, kisses, and high fives. All right? Like the, the church pushes. Hey, the Lord wants obedience. Okay? 
He's strict. He's austere. And he ain't afraid to, uh, you know, uh, put you to death, man. If you're not, you know, in order. Simple as that. You got to, you know, a break down, you know, what the Lord can do to people. Mm -hmm. Because hey, that, that's what persuaded me. That's what fully persuaded me to get into this ministry. Is when I heard Elder Manatazak, I still remember it to this day. I was, you know, because I, you know, I was watching a couple videos, you know, uh, before I saw this particular video, and um, but you know that um, when Elder Manatzak was teaching out there in uh, New York, and uh, you know, I knew, you know, I was finding out that I was an Israelite. I was like, okay, cool, cool, you know, wasn't thinking too much of it, you know, I, it, it made sense to me, but it, I, I wasn't like fully, you know, in it, right? But then when I heard Elder Manatazak, he was going in. It was about basically the judgment that was going to happen, to, you know, basically what's going to befall America. And I heard about the thermonuclear destruction. I got scared. I got real, real scared. And that's when I, that's when I was, you know, basically fully persuaded then, because I didn't want that judgment. I didn't want to get destroyed by uh, uh, nuclear missiles. And, and and the spirit was already on me that even before I got into the truth. I always told myself, I said, man, at any moment, there could be World War III. They have all these missiles. Why wouldn't they use them? So it made sense, you know, uh, um, you know, that it's in the, you know, in the scriptures, you know, the, 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 you know, the elders were bringing out all these precepts. It made complete sense that, you know, uh, that fire was by those thermal, uh, um, it was by those thermonuclear missiles, you know. But that's what really got me, you know, uh, uh, in line, in order, you know. And that's what we got to do. That's what really gets you in order. That's what makes you fear you how about Shimei al Shai. It's when you hear about the judgments, you know? Huh. But we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. So, yeah, that was pretty much it, though, you know? We hit the main points. I don't think we got anything else unless you have something. No. All right, well, you know, with that, you hey, Akimei, just examine yourselves. We, you know, uh, you know, Passover's coming up. You know, they just... A, uh, uh, basically trim the fat, you know? Yeah. Just, just keep trimming the fat yeah, every day to the best of your ability. Just keep getting better and better and better, man. You know? We, we want to, um, you know, please you. How about Shimei al Shai? All right? And, you know, with that, you know, we hope this was an, you know, um, an edifying lesson. And as always, you know, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to. Yeah, how about Shimei al Shai? By Shimei al you know, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And also salutations to all the brothers out there. All right. Shalom. Shalom. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. And, you know, don't take that chip.